Hello guys and welcome back to my channel, Real McCoy 411. Today I'm just going to be doing a simple wash and go. I'm still using those same design essential products. I have washed my hair in the shower and I have also applied my leave-in conditioner. So I'm going to be doing the LOC method. Okay, now I'm going to be applying my oil, which is my wild growth oil. I'm just going to apply it really around my edges and sporadically throughout my hair so that I'm able to give myself a head massage to stimulate my hair growth and to get the blood circulating in my scalp as well. So as you can see, the hair is getting thicker. It hasn't been getting thicker just now. It actually started getting thicker a month ago. And I can tell that just by looking at it. So I'm going to go ahead and stimulate my scalp. Get it evenly distributed throughout my head. Because I am on the journey this month for trying to grow my hair with some length. So I've already separated my hair right here. And I'm going to start with that back corner. So I'm going to be adding some of the Design Essentials Almond and Avocado Curling Cream, which smells so good. And it's such a light product, and it's got a smooth consistency, like butter. So I'm just adding that to the back of my hair, raking it in, just using my fingers to rake it in so that it can distribute through my hair evenly. Then I'm going to put just a little of my extreme wet line gel. As you can see I have some definition there. I don't like the white buildup. I tried the products and I did the tests so I'm not for sure why it was turning out white on my hair. The only thing that I could think of is maybe it was the oil. Because if you put the cream and the gel together, you do not have a white residue. But I never tested it with the oil. So I know that the cream... And the oil goes good together, but I never tested the extreme wet line gel with the oil. But I'm just going to go ahead and continue to just apply the product to my hair, making sure that I rake it through evenly, of course. And I'm not working in small sections like I would usually do. I'm just making sure that I get every section. And with my hair being thick, I really have to make sure that I take my time and apply the product in. Right there, I'm going to be spraying just a little warm aloe vera juice on my hair and applying the cream again and working it in. It is very moisturizing, has very good slip, feels really good, doesn't feel like it's slick, it doesn't feel slick, it just has good slip. Putting a little gel, and you can definitely see the curl definition coming in. And I like that, because I'm not using that much gel, but I am using more product. And also, if you look at my hair, you can tell that the black hair that I used to have, that I dyed my hair to when I first started this journey, it's, my natural color is coming back out of it. And I'm not going to dye it anymore. So the color that I end up with is the color that's going to stay in my hair. But I was really shocked to see that, hey, my color's coming back in my head because I was not too pleased with the black hair. I've never had just black hair before. But it's changing, so I'm happy about that. I'm 
and spraying a little aloe vera and you can see the white consistency is starting to kind of fade away and it did fade away throughout the day but I just normally don't like to have the white and I know for a fact it was the oil it was the oil the oil did not mix good with the extreme wet line gel and the almond and avocado cream it did not mix well but I had already applied it. I had already massaged it into my scalp. So I'm going to continue to go. And more than likely, by the end of the night, I'll be washing this product out of my hair, uh, not reapplying the oil. But I will just be applying the cream and doing a braid out. So stay tuned for that video. Hair is very thick, so I'm, I'm just happy about that. And I love that spray bottle. It's just spraying. Now remember, I have low porosity hair, so the spray bottle has been sitting in warm water. Because once you put the warm water on your hair, if you're low porosity, it opens up the shafts on your head so that the moisture and everything is able to seal in. And once you have moisture in your hair and it's sealed in and you're low porosity, that moisture will stay. And I'm just doing a little finger raking. And this is just one of those days I'm just doing just a simple wash and go, guys. It's pretty warm outside. The temperature is up in the 70s, so I don't have to worry about my hair being too wet and going outside. So I had the opportunity to do a wash and go, and I took it. And the aloe vera juice, if you guys look up the benefits on the aloe vera juice on natural hair, it is really some good benefits on it. It has vitamins in it. It helps with hair growth. It's very moisturizing, very moisturizing. And I use the kind that actually has like wild berry scent, so it smells really good as well. Only thing that I'm not liking the smell of right now is the oil. The oil has a different smell and it's going to take some time to get used to. But after I wash my hair tonight, once I wash these products out, I'm going to wait a couple of days and then add the oil and probably add the oil like two more times this week but not too much and I'm gonna try to make sure it stays on the scalp and not so much in my head instead of rubbing it back onto my hair I'm just gonna try to make sure it stays in the scalp area so this is my last little piece here and I'm working in that aloe vera juice. Now I've applied the cream. And next I'm going to apply the gel. Trying to make sure I get all my moisture on my tips. Because that to me is the oldest part of your hair. So you want to make sure that your tips are taken care of. You don't want any breakage. So I make sure that I take care of my tips and I make sure that I take care of my scalp. Because like I said, one of my goals right now is focusing on hair growth. Healthy hair first, but hair growth. So I'm gonna apply just a little of the Extreme Wet Line Gel on my edges. Just to give it a little slick back look. 
And you all know I don't know about edges, but I did something. I figured that was something. Something's better than nothing. Now I'm just raking through, picking through, making sure every strand of my hair is taut by product. That's just a little gel. I'm going to add a little extra gel just for some hold. Now the extreme wet line gel does not make your hair hard, but it does help with defining your curls and it does give you some hold. Right here, I'm just shaking it, shaking my hair, trying to let the curls do what they want to do. I hate this. I hate this because it gives me a little headache. And plus, I don't have that much hair to shake. But you can see it works when you just let your hair just shake, shake, shake. And it gives you, it, give, it helps with the definition. Looking pretty good. Looking nice and moisturized. That's, the, that's, that's something I look for when I do my wash and goes. I like for it to look nice and moisturized. And my head is not extremely wet. That's another good thing I like about it. Still shaking, just trying. But as you can see, you can see the color, you can see the curls, you can see a little of the white. The white did go away. I'm so happy my color is coming back. And I'm just showing you the front. And then I'm also going to have some pictures at the end, and I'm going to show some pictures of the products that I'm using on my hair as well. And by looking at my hair, yeah, definitely I think I am a 3C, 4A. In certain areas of my hair, it's 4A, right? And that very top is 4A. And also, like, right in the crown of my head, that's a 4A. But that's it. So if you're new to this channel, go ahead and subscribe. Click the notification bell. And come along with me on my journey as I go out for natural, healthy, longer hair. Just giving you a close-up. I know it's too close, but if you've seen my videos before, you know I have a tendency just to get a little too close. But look at the color. Yes, my hair is coming back. I'm so happy. My color is coming back. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Just let the curls be. Great thing, great thing. So, I'll see you guys later. Just have a couple of photos here just showing you guys that I took of my wash and go using my cream, using my extreme wet line gel, very little gel, more cream. This part I think is more for a, yeah. That's a combination of both. Good job, Charlotte. These are the products that I use, the leave-in conditioner, the extreme wet line gel, the cream.